Hey, today we are going to do a pickling operation. Actually, we're going to be actually fermenting the pickles, mm -hmm. right, Kyle? Yes. Okay, so the recipe we have is, it calls for chilling the um, pickles. So we have this nice big bowl full of ice water. And we're not even gonna cut the pickles up. We're just gonna, we've got some chopped up dill. We're going to place the pickles into the jar. Easy peasy. Get in there, guys. And then we take our spices. Uh, we're doing, we did two different kinds of spices. We did kind of a spicy spice and a sweet spice. So it'll be a surprise whenever so, we open yeah, into one. Yeah. A little surprise. Um, we're just about a quarter cup in there. And then you either put in grape leaves, which we could have gotten over at my neighbor's house, but we forgot, or believe it or not, oak leaves. And that is to provide the tannins. Crazy, and, but cool. And why do we have tannins in there? You tell me. Tannins are in there <laughs> to uh, provide crispness, to keep the, uh, to uh, make the pickles be crisp and not get as, get soft as they are fermenting. Very and nice. what I want to say is that, that, yeah, technically, even though we're calling these pickles, they really are, as she was saying, fermented cucumbers. Yes, very done cool. Just like, sort of like sauerkraut. Which is good for you. Yes. Um, Kyle measured out the canyon pickling salt. It's one and a half teaspoons of salt to a cup of water. And so we just kind of make sure that it's covering up the pukes. Get in there, get in there. And you don't want to put the lid on too tight because it's going to be bubbling up a bit. You want to give it some room for the gas to escape. And uh, we're just gonna kind of lightly do that. We will leave these out. Look at these beautiful babies. We will leave these out for how many days, Kyle? Uh, three to five days. Three to five days, and then we're gonna put them in the refrigerator. Uh, you wanna invert them. You'll tighten the lid, of course, and then you invert them to get everything kind of covered even better. And they will be ready for eating when? Two, three weeks. Yum, yum. And they last for three months, you say? I've had them last as long as three months. That's and amazing. And so the difference, again, between these and regular pickles is whereas regular pickles are preserved with vinegar, uh, these guys are fermented. And what that means is that there are is a, a lactobacillus, as they call it, as, as a bacterium that um, breaks down sugars in the cucumbers and uh, preserves them and actually crowds out any other harmful organisms that might be in there and sort of they basically take the thing over so it's unable to get spoiled by other pathogens that could come in there. And in so doing, you've got all these nice probiotic organisms that you're putting in your stomach, which we all know from yogurt and kraut and things like that is good for your gut. So the diff and difference is, is these just have to be, once they have started fermenting, need to be kept in the refrigerator for after that. But again, they will last quite a long time. And see, that sounds like science. And I always thought science was hard. Science is sexy is what it is. Science is sexy. Yeah. So, so our sexy pickles will be ready very soon. Mm -hmm. And when we open them and eat them, we will film that too. Thanks everybody. Okay, so my friend Kyle is, um, who's teaching me how to ferment, is going to explain how the pickles and the sauerkraut are both ready and how we can tell. Okay, well, as you can see, these are the pickles we did last week. And you look at them and you can see it's a little cloudy, which is good. You know, that means that it's being fermented. And this one, I've noticed, I think this is kind of cool. You can see the top, it's a little bit foamy. That's because it's gotten kind of fizzy, all the CO2 coming out of it from the, uh, uh, lactobacilli doing their work fermenting it. So anyway, what you can do just to check it out is just open it up there. Ah, it really smells really good. It has like that, uh, well, you can't, 
Let's oh. take a look at it anyway. Yeah, you can just hear us going, ah, oh, oh. smells delicious. Fermentation. Yeah, that fermentation's been going on. And we have to make them <laughs> nice and tight so you can put them in upside down in the fridge and I'll show you. I'll take one, it's tight, and I'll put it upside down in the fridge. Yeah, we can't put everything in that fridge. I've got an extra fridge in the garage, which I highly recommend to anybody who's going to be doing food preservation. You need an extra refrigerator yeah. in your garage. And the reason I put them upside down is just so that the, you know, the tops of them would be uh, covered. It's not necessary, you know, as long as, as the pickles are actually pushed down inside, they're Very fine. Cool. Hi. Oh, Hi. oh we have a helper here. My grandson going to camp. Okay. Bye, Waylon. Bye, Waylon. Waylon Roy McClure. That's him. He's so. either going to be a country music star or a rodeo star. Or maybe both. Or maybe okay, both. I'm going to talk to you about how we fermented cucumbers. So the difference between pickled cucumbers and fermented cucumbers is that with, when you're pickling it, you are preserving it in a uh, brine of vinegar and salt which prevents harmful bacteria from growing in there and it preserves the pickles. What we did is uh, was actually fermenting, which is very similar to what we did with sauerkraut. So basically what we did here was we packed a jar with the pickling cucumbers um, and whatever spices we wanted to use, we had a spice mix that uh, Coco had. We added in fresh dill and lots of garlic. And the next thing we did was add a brine and what this brine does is it allows the pickles to lacto-ferment, which means it allows good bacteria to uh, grow and thrive in there, which crowds out any bad bacteria, thus preserving it and altering them slightly, you know, giving them a little bit different flavor and whatnot. So basically we've got those, those uh, uh, spices in there, the dill, the garlic, uh, we have a brine that is uh, two tablespoons of salt to six cups of water. Put that in here. And one other thing we added is you need to add either a grape leaf or we didn't have any grapes here, so we used an oak leaf. And what that does is it adds tannins to the water, which helps keep the cucumbers crisp. And then what we do at that point is we let them sit somewhere cool, like in the bottom of the pantry for two or three weeks with the lid slightly cracked because if you put it down tight, the bacteria in there are putting out a lot of CO2, it's gonna burst eventually. But you leave it a little loose, it allows them to breathe a little bit. And after two or a couple of weeks, check it out, make sure that they haven't gone soft, gone bad, everything's going good, put them in the fridge. It slows the process way down. They'll stay in the fridge for three, four months. I've had them longer than that even. And I actually prefer them to pickled cucumbers. Let's talk sauerkraut. Let's talk in sauerkraut here. So what we have here is the kraut that has been sitting in here fermenting. And if Coco would bring the camera around over here, you can see a little bit of the cabbage is kind of is not immersed. What'll happen a lot of times is if it's not completely immersed, it'll get a little bit slimy. And what you can do then is that stuff you do want to, and if this is totally common with sauerkraut, it's not a thing to worry about, it's not a thing to panic about, don't throw it away. Um, you can just take that stuff that's gotten soft and, and uh, gushy and just skim it off. Skim oh, it, it off smells the top so there. good. Mm. Any of that stuff that's like that. Mama and otherwise, it looks like nice. You can even hear it. Mm. Crunchy, firm sauerkraut otherwise. Yeah, if it's at all like squishy. Squishy, look, see, mm, squishy. squishy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all soft and squishy. Just skim the top of it off. Yeah. And this it, could have had a little bit more liquid in it. We didn't yeah. add any. Probably wouldn't have hurt to add a little. A lot of times the cabbage has enough liquid in it that the salt will draw it out and it'll create so much brine that it's completely covered but we could add a little bit of liquid to it this time. We didn't. And so we just jar it up in any old jar? You just jar them don't up have in a clean to pack jar it. and put it in the fridge. Awesome. Yep, you don't have to do anything else to it. Except eat it. Eat it. With a nice hot dog. Oh, you're making me hungry and I just had breakfast. <laughs> well done, my friend.